stop making that big face. You too, eh? Uh, excuse me? Sorry, uh, I saw you by yourself and I figured you were like me. Uh, like you? Yeah, you know, antisocial. Uh, thanks. No, it's a good thing. I hate things like this, you know, parties and whatnot. I never know what to do, so I, I just started standing over here by yourself. And I'm just glad to see someone like me, that's all I meant. Uh, well, you certainly have a pretty forward approach for someone who's antisocial. What's your name, cowboy? It's Bruce. Bruce McGillicuddy. Wow, really? That sounds like a famous person's name. Bruce, you have a famous person's name. Actually, I have a famous person's head. <gasps> <gasps> what? It's just Ben Affleck. Oh. Oh. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. How can I help you? Hello. I'd like to deposit this galaxy check and I want to make an interplanetary withdrawal. Oh, I get it. Harry Potter and the potential lawsuit. You know, I really don't get why people get so upset over the term mudblood. I mean, Draco Malfoy and Lord Voldemort. Shh. Sorry, he who must not be named. I say it all the time, so people automatically assume it's bad. But if you think about it, it's just the same as any other racial slur. Exactly. That's why it's so bad. Well, not really. I mean, they're just words. You know, words are words. I should be able to say mudblood just the same as I can say something like n***a. Did you just say... MUDBLOOD? Three feet, God.